Hello. After studying the black body radiation, the Planck's quantum theory and photoelectric effect, I think now we are in a position to solve a few numerical problems. The first question is that you have to calculate the energy of one mole of photons whose frequency is 5 into 10 to the power 14 hertz. We know that the energy of a photon is equal to h nu, where h is the Planck's constant, whose value is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 uh, joules second, and frequency is given to us. So we'll calculate E for one photon. The energy of one photon would be equal to 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joules second into 5 into 10 to the power 14 hertz. Hertz is hertz is cycles per second, you could say, just seconds inverse. Alright? So the seconds and seconds would get cancelled. Seconds and second inverse would get cancelled and you'd be left with uh, the joules, energy in joules. So what would it be equal to? The energy would be 3.313. If you calculate this, this would be 3.313 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules. But this is the energy of one photon. And the question asks us, what is the energy of one mole? We know just like a dozen has 12 in it, one mole of anything has Avogadro's number of particles in it. So one mole of photons would be equal to Avogadro's number. And what is the Avogadro's number? It is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 particles. And since we are talking of photons, it is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 photons. So let us calculate, that this is the energy of one uh, photon, so energy of one mole would be equal to 3.313 into 10 to the power minus 19 into Avogadro's number which is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 and the energy would be in joules. The, and when you calculate this, this comes to be equal to 199.51 kilojoules for a mole. So the, these many particles are there in one mole. So you could say 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 particles per mole. So what would the energy be when you calculate this? It comes to 199.51 kilojoules per mole. So that's the energy for one mole of photons whose frequency is 5 into 10 to the power 14 hertz. Let's now come to the next problem. A 100 watt bulb emits monochromatic light of 400 nanometers. Now when we are talking of length nanometers, it means we are talking of wavelength. So a 100 watt, 100 watt, watts is joules per second. Watts can also be written as joules per second. So a 100 watt or you could say a 100 joules per second bulb emits monochromatic light. Monochromatic means light of one color. So it produces, it emits monochromatic light of 400 nanometer is the wavelength. So you have to calculate the number of photons emitted per second by the bulb. What is given to us? 100 watts is the energy of the bulb. So 100 joules per second is the energy, all right, of the bulb. That these many joules are, um, the bulb emits 100 joules per second. And we have light, the wavelength is given to us, which is 400 nanometers. And we have to calculate first the energy of one photon, which would have the wavelength 400. So we know energy is given by h nu, but nu is frequency. So what is the relationship that we use for frequency? We know c is equal to nu lambda. To get this in terms of wavelength, we know c is nu lambda, therefore nu should be equal to c by lambda, isn't it? So e should become equal to, e would be equal to 
H substitute the value of mu H C by lambda. So what is H? H is 6.626 into 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second is H. The speed of light is given by C which is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second divided by the wavelength that is given to us 400 nanometers so what would 400 nanometers be in meters it would be 400 into 10 to the power minus 9 meters because nanometers are 10 to the power minus 9 so into upon 400 into 10 to the power minus 9 meters will give you the value of the energy of one photon which has this wavelength so when you calculate this this comes to be equal to 4.969 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules do you see the meter here and the meter here get cancelled the second inverse and the second here get cancelled so the unit that you're left with would be joules so you have these many joules of energy that is of one photon but what is the wattage of the bulb? The energy of the bulb is in one second, it produces how many watts? It emits how many watts? 100 watts. 100 watts means 100 joules per second. And what is the energy of one photon? It is this. So if we divide this by this, we we'll get the number of photons emitted in one second. So energy in one second, number of photons would be equal to energy in one second is 100 joules per second divided by 4.969 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules so the joules and joules would get cancelled you'll get the number of photons per second and when you calculate this this is equal to 2.012 into 10 to the power 20 per second so this is the number of photons which would be given out emitted per second by the bulb. So in the next video we'll solve more numerical problems. Thank you for watching.